Hello small business owners, welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking a deep look into Perfex's proposals, which are game-changing feature. If you're a coach, consultant, cleaning company, plumber, lawyer, accountant, or any service-based small business owner, stick around. This tutorial is tailored just for you. Let's unravel how Perfex not only simplifies your proposal game, but integrates it seamlessly into your workflow, connecting the dots between proposals, estimates, and invoices. When you open up on the dashboard, immediately within the billing section, you can see the status of any invoice, estimate, and proposal. All of these links are hyperlinked, so you could click on them and immediately go into it. From the main menu, you'd click on Sales, and then you would enter the section called Proposals. In order to create a new proposal, you click on the button New Proposal. You therefore give it a subject heading. You state whether a proposal is linked to a lead or to a customer. You therefore go and find the lead, so it has to be an existing lead already. Then you pick the date that this proposal will be valid for. So normally you'd make a proposal valid for anywhere from one day up to one month. You pick the currency that the proposal will appear to that possible uh, customer or current customer and you pick whether or not you're going to be giving discounts on this proposal. I always leave on the allowed comments. That means that uh, the client or possible client can actually talk to you through the system about this proposal specifically. On the other side of a year, you can see who the proposal is assigned to, who's made it, uh, what's, who it's to, which is actually populating the information from the lead section. So make sure you filled out that lead or that customer details correctly because it will appear on the proposal. Then we go down and we either will select current products or services that is on our list. Once it appears in this block, we click on the blue block, the tick, to permanently add it to this estimate. And we actually can see that financially it's there. Okay, or we can click on the button and actually create a new item. And this is obviously your service or specifically your product that you'd be quoting on. You'd state whether or not there's tax related to it or not. You'd save the item. It would appear here in the first box. You can add the item by clicking on the blue tick and then you'll see how it changes the financials. And at any point, any of the items, the descriptions, or so forth can be changed, okay, including the amounts. So let's say, for example, you have a special product or a special project you're working on, and your normal price for this item would be 150 However, with pricing going up or maybe there's delivery linked, you have to increase that price. Then you click on Save, okay? This is the first step in our proposal. Now, so what we have so far is just the items added. I normally at this point like to type dear possible client or dear um, whoever it's addressed to. Now we have normal parts that we would actually add into a proposal. So you don't have to type that from the start again. You actually can just go to your template area and you either have them saved already or you can create a template area in which you say uh, this is the normal intro um, that you would add to your business proposal and you save it there. Give me one second, we go back because we've just added a new one and then once you go to the bottom, so this is exactly where I want the template to appear before we even talk price to the client, we add in an introduction, which normally consists of us introducing ourselves. So that was the template we just created. Note only the wording in the template arrives. Okay, let's go to the actual other templates that I've prepared. So the normal introduction. Here you go. You'd briefly say this is the introduction about your company. You'd introduce yourselves. You'd talk about the context of your proposal. Uh, you could add in a picture at this point. Maybe there's some image 
that's relevant to this proposal that you'd like to add in. So now we're going through the images and here we can see the images that are saved as well as if we needed to upload any images, we'd go and upload it and there'd be an upload button here. We'd have the option to add files. We could add additional things, what your proposal will achieve. Then you might include something around the timeline that the schedule has. Then we would start to talk budget. So in this aspect, you might have some general points that you'd like to mention about it. But at this point, the proposed items, and there you can see um, the variable holding fields, and that was what we put on the actual estimate document. We'll keep that, and now I'll actually go past that, because the next piece of the business proposal um, that we normally put in would come after those estimated costs because under my costing section I'll leave that. Then we might talk about the expected benefits of this because once you whack somebody with a price you normally want to go and tell them the benefits of what you're offering. Okay, and then you'd obviously think about anything that's risk related that you need to mitigate. And then of course last but not least you'd have a conclusion, a call to action, you would add in as well as yeah, your call to action and your contact information. So when you actually look at your proposal, this is ideally what you'd, you'd like to see. Your, your business and your possible client or your client's current, your current client's information at the top. Then you'd like to see something that you could write sort of free, free large, you could type in words here. If you needed to change anything, anything in the template also, you could change. If that's what you wanted to do, you could add in pictures or you could just have your normal template here. So now let's have a look at what it is that we've created. So let's go to the PDF button and let's view it in a new tab as a PDF. So this is exactly what your lead or your client will receive. Your logo, of course, would be up here. This would say the date it's valid for the possible client. And now you can see everything that we've added on. You can also very nicely see how um, the costs, um, the items that we listed within the estimate itself and how it populates onto the page. And then you can see the information we added thereafter. And you can turn off the authorization for the signatures uh, with Imperfects as well. If that's not what you want, you can then come back here and you can change things. So maybe you want to take out the section or you want to take away a space. Maybe something's too far apart. Maybe you'd like to take out the goals and objectives part. You just delete taking it out. Once you're happy with the document um, as and you have it exactly the way you'd want it, now you're going to send it. So now you get ready to send the email. This is the template that we have already in the system. So the proposal will go to the contact's name and surname. You'll say find attached your proposal. You can CC yourself here. I usually do that. Uh, and then you would click on send. And then the system would automatically send out. And then what would happen is thereafter, if you would like, and somebody accepts the invoice, so remember when they look at it, let's look at it this way. When they, when they look at the invoice and they decide to accept it, um, they actually get a link in the email. So in the email, they get a link and they can talk to you about this invoice. And they can decide to say they will accept the invoice or they will decline it. But on your side as well, you can even mark it as accepted or declined. Or you need to revise it. So let's say we accept proposal. We accept the proposal. We can convert it to an estimate or straight into an invoice from this point. Now all that information moves on to an invoice and you can easily work on the document then. Now we need to convert the lead to a customer first. No problem. It's marked as accepted. So the lead is test. I will go into the actual customer's profile, the leads profile. And this is actually a great opportunity also for me to show you. Other lead is Kremlin. Let's go find our lead. She's with the right company. Let's convert her. As you can see, she this will easily become uh, the contact information. What I'll also do is to make sure that 
this customer now can access the client portal I will send them an email so that they can automatically set their own password if you're not activating your client portal then of course you say do not send the welcome email and there you go now you've converted this lead to a customer if you go into your proposal section you'll find your proposal that they've accepted you can now enter this proposal and you can convert this proposal to an invoice it's converted to an invoice it has a due date linked to it you now at this point can also make some changes if you've discussed that with your client remember the invoice will hold your banking or payment channel information you can also insert that on your proposal if you would like your choice we save this invoice and of course then we triggered it out and send it to our customer by clicking on the little email remember you can view proposals either on your customer profile let's look at our customer profile and you can see any proposals that were sent to that customer because sometimes you also send proposals to existing customers as a lead though you can send them a proposal by simply clicking on this link and then clicking on new proposal a nice thing to remember is that you'll receive email reminders not just yourself but your lead or your customer as well that is the beauty of perfects automated email reminders uh, will go out so there's no more of you chasing down proposals with leads and clients the system takes care of that for you sending gentle reminders to ensure your client or lead um, that they stay in the loop it's a proactive way without being intrusive to your client to keep things moving smoothly forward uh, your proposals as we saw has their different statuses you've seen how you can customize your proposal okay great so the proposals and the estimates are usually the first step in the billing process before you move into an invoice mode if you are interested in perfects and want to see how it works feel free to contact success by design we fit small business owners to the right off the shelf systems that work for them so that they can be up and running as soon as possible we also set up customize and support you and your business through your entire journey with that system